if you think something is hard, if you think something is out of reach or whatever, you're just repelling it further and further away from you. If you see it as this huge bridge that's going to require a lot of obstacles and a lot of steps and a lot of tiredness and pain and uh like it's gonna it, it's gonna feel like something you don't want to do when you're thinking about a video game yes there's conflict yes there's obstacles yes there's things that you have to do that you maybe don't feel like doing but you're playing the video game because you enjoy playing the game i don't want to get to the very end of the video game and just be there like that's not like the fun is in the journey what's good you guys welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be a sit down video we're going to be talking about how to attract the life that you want with ease. This is something that I think is a little bit controversial. I think a lot of us don't truly believe that we can do this. Most of us want financial freedom. We want to be pursuing, pursuing our dreams, but it feels like we have to work really hard to get there. And that really just comes from conditioning, right? We've really been trained to believe that everything we want out of life we have to hustle for we have to grind for and i'm telling you right now if you continue buying into the idea that you have to work really hard to get the things that you want out of life that will continue to be your reality we are able and we are also worthy of attracting the things that we want out of life without having to grind without having to hustle super hard there may be some days yes where you have to do something that you don't want to do but you don't have to work as hard as you think to get the life that you want when you're picturing your future self it's kind of hard to not then picture the bridge or like the gap between your future self the the self that you want to be and your current self oftentimes we picture all the things that we have to do all the time it's going to take all the effort it's going to take for us to get to where we want to be and sometimes what happens is we hyper fixate on this gap like we build up this idea that the life that we want is so out of reach that we create this illusion in our heads that it's a lot harder to get there than it actually is so really what we have to do to start again attracting the things that we want out of life with ease is we have to first reframe our idea of what hard work is when you're thinking about your fitness journey and just your health in general it feels like so much effort to go to the gym every single day it feels like so much effort to eat well and take care of your body but in reality like once you start doing those things you'll recognize that your body actually really craves them like your body actually really enjoys movement your body really enjoys nourishing itself with good wholesome food but what's honestly happened is capitalism has sucked the passion out of a lot of things for us because we've made everything about our value and our utility as human beings it's clouded the way that we perceive the things that we actually already enjoy doing we've become so obsessed with bettering ourselves and improving ourselves that we've then switched completely to the opposite end to where we now think that our dream lives is just maybe sitting in bed all day and watching netflix when I can tell you, I know if you're really asking yourself truly what you want out of life, that that is not it. What most of us really want is we want to get paid to do what we love. We want to take care of ourselves physically, mentally, emotionally, energetically. We want to have a community. We want to have loving relationships that fuel us and feed us but i'm telling you right now that that does not need to be hard if you guys watch my vlogs you guys have heard me talk about this a little bit but like i spent this past year really trying to unlearn my toxic relationship with productivity and i almost started to create this illusion in my head that creating videos was hard work when in reality for me, my entire career on YouTube, creating videos was an outlet for me. It's something that I did out of passion. Even when I was posting three videos a week while I was working my nine to five, I really felt like I had to do that because I was gonna go crazy if I just sat on my computer all day at my nine to five and just did that. But oftentimes what we end up doing is again, we create this illusion where we're focused on the results. We're focused on that finish line instead of actually focusing on the journey and the process of getting to where we want to be. And what tends to happen is the longer you wait to do something, the more you put something off, the more you build up this illusion in your mind that it's this hard and difficult thing. And you really will start to trap yourself in that illusion. So again, in order for us to break down that illusion of there being this huge obstacle between who you want to be and who you are right now, you have to first reframe your idea of what hard work is. And in order to do that, you have to focus on the day-to-day -day journey instead of focusing so much on the results. Once you start getting used to just showing up and doing that thing, your body and your spirit will actually start to crave that thing more and more. Again, we naturally crave to take care of ourselves. We naturally crave to express ourselves creatively. If you guys watch Heinz, y'all know he says this all the time and I'm a firm believer in this. What does he say? Creativity 
is the highest form of nourishment. And it's true. Your soul, your spirit wants to express itself. It wants to resonate with other people. It wants to build a positive relationship with your community. That's something that is inherent to all of us. Like, yes, there's gonna be some days where you just don't feel like showing up. That's totally normal. But what, again, what tends to happen is the more you start doing something, the more easy it starts to feel. My friend was actually saying the other day, like, you know, when you're when you're adding on more weight, when you're lifting, eventually the weight that you were lifting before starts to feel lighter, but that weight does not change. All that's really changed is your relationship to it. So once you start changing your relationship to a certain task or to a certain thing that you have to do in order to get to your future self, something that you previously maybe thought was a lot of effort, a lot of hard work, suddenly starts to feel like therapy to you or it feels like this like nice sense of like relief. And that really applies to everything. That applies to, again, you expressing your Yourself and pursuing your passion that applies to you eating well that applies to you nourishing your relationships and what starts to happen once you start changing your relationship with all these things in your life the universe will start supporting you and taking care of you and then providing you with more abundance as you pursue that thing the more you start to enjoy something the more you start to enjoy your journey on whatever journey it is that you're on with anything, the more the universe will see that you're enjoying it and the more it will provide for you. So it's really about changing your perspective on the journey that it takes for you to get to your future self. If you see it as this huge bridge that's gonna require a lot of obstacles and a lot of steps and a lot of tiredness and pain and uh, like it's gonna, it, it's gonna feel like something you don't wanna do. But if you look at this journey to getting to your future self, which again is your dream self, you should see it as a fun, magical journey when you're thinking about a video game yes there's conflict yes there's obstacles yes there's things that you have to do that you maybe don't feel like doing but you're playing the video game because you enjoy playing the game i don't want to get to the very end of the video game and just be there like that's not like the fun is in the journey so focus on that journey and again reframe your relationship with what that journey looks like and typically what tends to happen is once you start achieving some of the things that you set out to achieve you'll start getting new goals you'll start wanting new things and your future self is is always gonna be changing. That goalpost is always gonna be moving. So don't make it about the goalpost. Don't make it about that end result. Again, make it so that your journey right now today is as fun as you can possibly make it. A soft life for me means making content and putting a lot of effort and work into making as good con as good of content as i possibly can but it's not this negative it's not it's not a negative thing it's not this negative thing to put an effort towards something that you love again yes there will be some days where you don't feel like working out yes there will be some days where you don't feel like recording or where you don't feel like you know putting in whatever it is whatever whatever the work looks like for you to get to where you want to be give yourself time to rest if you need time to rest but the more you're present in that journey and again the more you listen to your body and your spirit when it craves waves to express itself, to move, to be still, to do whatever it is that it needs to do. The more you listen to yourself, the more you will be aligned to your future self and the more the universe will support you by providing you with abundance and the security that you need in order to continue pursuing that journey. I really encourage you to start looking at your future dream self more and more. Maybe write down exactly what it is that he or she is doing on a day-to-day -day basis. I like to do this visualization practice a lot where I really just like write down like exactly what she's doing, what her day looks like, what is she wearing, what does she look like, what does she feel like. Really visualize your future self and start figuring out again how in your daily life can you align to that. And I promise you the more you start doing it, the less effort it will feel like. You'll start to see again not only your inner world change but your outer world because the universe will be providing for you and your outer world will really just be reflecting what it is, what like what's going on inside your inner world. If you think something's hard, if you think something is out of reach or whatever, you're just repelling it further and further away from you. Call into your current reality what it is that you want by again changing your relationship with it, by enjoying the journey to you getting to that thing, having fun with it, and again being present in that journey. That's really the key to again attracting what it is that you want without having to work really, really hard for it. So hopefully this made sense in some way, you guys. Let me know in the comments down below if there's anything else you guys wanna add or anything else that you guys maybe even like disagree with. I love learning from you guys and having conversations in the comments down below. So yeah, I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys are having an amazing week and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.